using double A, right, angle angle to prove triangles are similar. So I just want to go over the questions I had given you yesterday. This one I br took the liberty to break up for you, which I think is the best way to attack this question. It asks you to prove these two triangles, UXV and YWYV, similar to each other. They give you these perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines, you know, form right angles. That's one of the things that you're going to use. Uh, you know, all right angles are equal. Boom, you have an angle. The next angle that you got to find, though, is a little bit tricky, but they are overlapping. And if you notice this V guy, right, V was in both of them, okay? And V's up here. And if that's the same angle, we can use that reflexive property again, right? The reflexive property. Reflexive property again, and that would be our second angle. Okay, so the right angle is one angle, and then the reflexive property is that other angle. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Um, it said in the diagram below, this was extra credit, prove that these are similar. It says this and this. Uh, well, it says these are perpendicular, right? And we're just going to skip ahead because we know perpendicular lines form right angles. And that would be one of the things that I'm going to write. Again, that whole statement out. Uh, the next thing that you're going to have to write, though, right? they say BFD, BFD here is congruent to which angle? C ECA, ECA here. Okay, so that's not really giving us an angle but what you do know is the triangle right the triangle angle sum theorem i'm sorry we don't want to use the triangle angle sum theorem i mean you can but we don't want to use that we want to use straight lines right all straight straight angles straight angles are equal to 180 degrees right so just for instance like if this guy here was a hundred and this guy here was a hundred how much has to be inside well 80 and 80 have to be inside right so doesn't that mean this angle inside is also equal to this angle inside well, yeah, it does, right? So straight angles are congruent, right? Straight angles are equal to 180 degrees, right? So therefore, if you have an angle, right? So if you have, if you have one piece, right? Or one part of supplementary angles or one angle of supplementary angles right that are congruent right then their supplements must also be congruent then their supplements must be also congruent, okay? And I'm just gonna shorthand that so we can stop. Um, and that's how you would get that second angle. So the first angle is coming from the right angles, right? Perpendicular lines form right angles. All right angles are congruent. Therefore, those angles are congruent. The next one's coming from straight angles, right? Are all equal to 180 degrees, right? Or uh, if you have one part of that, straight angle, right? And it's congruent to that opposite one, right? Well, then that means its supplement must also be equal to each other, okay? So this is the method that we're going to use for that. Um, and that would give you the second angle, and then you'd go through your proof and, and use angle angle. So for today, what I need you to do um, is take a look at this question, triangle SCU shown below. Um, you're not proving anything. All I want you to do is rotate the points, right? You're really going to have to read this. Rotate the triangles and find all the corresponding parts, okay? All the corresponding parts. 
The second question is actually a proof, right? You've got to prove ABC, okay? ABC, this guy is congruent to CEF, that little guy, okay? And I'm going to give you a little hint here. You're first going to have to prove that these are similar to each other, and then you're going to have to use your knowledge of congruent triangles and also the fact that this is a rectangle to show this is in fact also similar to that guy. All right, and that's what you got to do for today. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like the video. And if you got any questions, please comment.